I want to throw something in there too that um I was thinking about a little earlier because you know Gohan Gohan is still extremely talented like you know like we always shit on mans but at the end of the day he is still half saiyan so he's at least he's at least okay you know so um I'd like to just say that while he is talented and he has been talented fresh out the womb as most saiyans are because monkey see monkey do is real yes it is um don't forget that Gohan has all the potential in the world. Gohan has this potential, blah, blah, blah. He got that shit unlocked by the Grand Elder. Correct. The Namekian. Right. When he was a kid, he got that shit pumped all the way up. Boom, unlocked for him. Didn't have to think about it. Then he went to his teens, did Super Saiyan 2. That shit was on his own. Good job. Props to you. That's the same blood in you, not the human one. Get with it. Mm. Emotions, you want to you want to use the emotions thing? Go ahead, sure. The emotions from the human side amplified him, but not power wise. I promise you that much. Not power wise. So, then yeah. we look even further, and then we go to Goten and Trunks. Goten, the youngest Super Saiyan ever. That's fucking crazy. They fused. They learned Super Saiyan three because Monkey See Monkey Do is real. Yes, it is. At the youngest age ever, like that is crazy. And Goku even saw that shit and said it himself. He was like, "Yo, if I don't." If I don't start like picking up my training, these boys are gonna surpass me. Yeah, like he was like they at that time, surpass like he was them pressed. together. Though. Yeah, you but gotta, that's still, that's that, still crazy though because sense. you know what happens? Like once they defuse and shit, like they can train. They went in the hyperbolic time, or, uh, the hyperbolic time chamber, and trained with each other, and literally just got their fusion stronger, got their shit, like got made up all their moves. Like right. it was perfect. Literally it was literally a match spot. made in heaven. So that's <laughs> that's absolutely crazy. But here's the thing. They got Super Saiyan 3, and then people are going to be like, oh, yeah, but but Ultimate Gohan, okay? Ultimate Gohan is a, is a, is a Gohan that, and if, if I'm calling it, if I'm calling it Potential Unleashed Gohan, whatever the fuck you want to call it, right? That is someone who got his potential unlocked again. And there it is. <laughs> Goten never got that shit. Trunks never got that shit. Imagine Tell me one did. full-blooded Saiyan that needed their potential unlocked. Nah. Oh. We don't go there. We don't go there. <laughs> we don't go there. No. They would never. Their pride would never let them. They'd be like, nah, I want that. The the most they do is fuse, and that's the most, that's, yeah. that's that's, that's kind of crushing their pride because they're not doing it themselves. Even but holding hands to yeah. achieve God form was like painful. a lot right yeah, yeah. Lot. all right so this is great because now i just i just i just realized something else and this is and this this actually adds to the conversation of the half breeds versus the full breeds and and there's a sh there's a glaring difference that i'm noticing now that is actually it actually proves my point, right? With the whole, and this is more or less, this is actually, well, now that I think about it, this is more on the lines of, it's not necessarily about just a generational, like the, like generation, the future generation is always supposed to meant to be, uh, sur sur meant to surpass the previous, but obviously what helps that is your bloodline. If you come from a family that is talented, that they're raw, and they they you know they're known for what they're known for it's almost expected that right. your offspring is going to be OD and that's that is with everything not just with Bro, dragon ball that's with Brian, everything I, I got you i got i got something well you 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 i want you to explain this cuz you already know but just just throw naruto in there Boruto is expected to be stronger <laughs> due to what reason? It's, now you can now you now you can explain because his, you already know what I'm right. saying. Right. Okay. So Brandon, before he brought up, it, you know, human saying human is trash. But if it was saying and an alien, od right. Obviously, depending, not just any. Um, but in Naruto's case, in that universe, Boruto is is the Naruto family line. And a Huga. <laughs> Huga. <laughs> yo, that's that's yo. Boruto's broke off as soon as he came out the womb. And his sister. And his sister. So like that speaks volumes. Exact and and honestly, and, and that's just that's a broken example because of what I and what I'm saying, that applies to what I'm saying too. Because 
that family bloodline either direction is ridiculous is ridiculous like you look down the hugas they're all od <laughs> you look down naruto's family bro yeah. you yeah and they're setting up for for sasuke's daughter and, right and, Boruto right. To, and, and that's said, gonna be an od tree in itself i said that shit i said that as soon as i found out that sasuke's kid was a girl i was like okay well i know what's gonna happen eventually and when that when then when that child comes in whatever future he's gonna have everything. that shit that motherfucking nah well, let's not even and get but, into that. But bloodline, no. but moral of the story, bloodline is important. It is important. So, so really, realistically, Gohan is Gohan, Goten, Kid Trunks they ain't never gonna compare to Vegeta or Goku. But like, hold on. unless they unless they stop their training regimen, bro, like it's not gonna happen. So let me get to my original point. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. So the original point I was trying to make was that the glaring difference that I'm noticing is that as soon as we exited the full-blooded space, I noticed that the half-breeds and beyond are more open-minded to trying things and giving things a chance. And here's the fucking craziest part. How long did it take Goku and Vegeta to fucking get in sync? Goten and Trunks did that shit as children. They have no experience in comparison to Goku and Vegeta. Obviously, when we're talking about them in Z, right? Chi Chi taught, Chi Chi taught Goten how to go Super Saiyan. Trunks went Super Saiyan because he wanted to go to the fucking carnival or some shit. <laughs> and Vegeta said no, right? And Vegeta's like, Super Saiyan's a child's plaything now. Like, he was fucking shitting himself in the motherfucking but little He, he had already thing. had it at that point. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, like, I don't remember yeah, exactly yeah. how that went. But I just remember that whole thing. Like, Vegeta being mad as fuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because think about it. Vegeta needed to go to a planet where he was gonna die in order for him <laughs> to fucking unlock that shit. Trunks did it. No problem. No problem. And then on top of that, he had a Dude, friend. Dude, he just had to make his back tingly, you know. Okay, well we, I'll get to them. I'll get to them too, right? No. Because let's not forget about Universe Six. Yo, when Goten and Trunks started like really collabing and and like fighting with each other, they never had that problem of they don't have this. They don't. They don't have the the same pride. That Vegeta really is the only one who has this prideful shit. All it is with Goku is he's just he he's just selfish because he wants to fight everybody. That's the difference. There is no he maybe now going forward he'll have this whole like he'll maybe yeah, now that I he I think they're gonna forget. Yeah, well we'll see we'll see. He'll, I think yo I think it's because of that human side, bro. Well, I, it, but I'm not sure though. But that's what I'm saying. It's either, it's either the human side or just how they were growing up. Like, right. They were that, yeah, together well, they as kids. Exactly. Like, exactly. They grew together, so they didn't mind. Yeah, know? but that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. Clearly, right? They they were obviously brought up differently. They weren't born on Planet Vegeta. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't. They weren't raised over there. They were raised as Earthlings. Gohan was raised as an Earthling, but the fact remains, their bloodlines. Vegeta's bloodline, clearly a good one. Goku's bloodline, clearly a good one. And but Goku was raised on Earth. Get the fuck out of here. But still, <laughs> the, the bloodline. The bloodline is OD. Blood and when you and then go look, the further out you go, the the more OD it gets. And look, I'm I have no problem referencing GT because it exists. Right? And at a point, this is all we had. So I'm not gonna fucking disrespect it and just be like, okay, we can't never no 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 fuck you. Okay. Go to the GT movie with Goku mm. Jr. That's two generations after Pan. Holy shit. That's, go that's great, great, great. So how many fucking great Grandpa Goku? And, and, and when they, and at that very last episode of GT, when they, when they show Goku Jr. versus Vegeta Jr., what did Vegeta just say? Great. Let's go blonde. They don't even know what the fuck Super Saiyan is. Bro, they have, they have one sixteenth Saiyan blood. Let's go blonde. And let's go blonde. <laughs> Let's go fucking Paris Hilton. 
I actually fucked with that. Not that like that scene and everything. Like, of course, that was crazy. Of course, that was, not, that, that was probably the best thing. GT stop. Pan just played. shitting herself. Like, yep, those are definitely their children. Or like, you know, like their their ants. That's the, like, exactly the lineage. Yeah, the fucking bloodline, son. But like the only way, like I don't know, like that, this is where the bloodline shit kind of like gets out of control because it's like the only way another full-blooded Sam would be able to be created is if, like. I mean, I don't even know. Is that even possible at, at, at some point? No. Just because, like, they're already half human, half sand, and then, like, they would have to get with another half human, half sand. <laughs> it's, like, math. so complicated. <laughs> they, like, the, only like, way, the only way currently, based on the information we have, the only way for them to create more full-blooded Saiyans is if they went to Universe 6. Yep. Mm. That's the only way. And honestly, the only way that could ever happen is if they did it with themselves. Like if Kaba ended up with Kale or 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 Califla. Right, right, right. That's the only way. Or if they had other characters over there that we don't know about. Because they're full yeah. same, they're right? all full they're all full blood. Yes. So sir. and unless we're seeing they're Goku much and Vegeta more evolved too. Well like Yeah. Like unless unless we're seeing Goku and Vegeta having an affair which I don't think is happening. <laughs> that's yeah. you know that's the only way you're gonna see full breed. But like like that that much doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you have a hundred percent saying in you. You just have to have a percentage. Goku Junior, like we said, is like a sixteenth, just, just a fucking drop, son. As long as that is in the bloodline, you're good. That's really all it is. Oh, that's that good shit.